What is going on good people? This is Cam with Elevated Lawnscapes and we are back at it again. So in this video, we're going to be talking about soil pH. So I got my results back. I sent those off to Spectrum Analytic. It was only about a two day turnaround once they had that soil received in their facility. So great turnaround from those guys and I truly appreciate it. So now that I have those results back, I can now start making my plan for my 2021 lawn season. So I did three samples, one of those being my front yard and the second one being my test plot, which is also a part of my front yard. And then the third one is for my backyard. So I did those in three different sections. Um, one reason being I am going to be treating those areas a little differently this year to give you guys some more content as I compare different fertilizers and different methods of application. So if you have not checked out my first video, which was actually taking those, taking that soil sample, make sure you go back and watch that one. I'll link it in the description below. This is video number two of the four videos that I'm going to be putting out regarding the information that you are getting from your soil sample. Uh, the first video, which I just discussed, was uh, about taking the soil sample. This video will cover the soil pH. The next video, we'll talk about the nutrient information you're going to get being that macros and micros. And the third video, whew, oh boy, I have one for you on that third video. Um, this is a topic that I would really like to discuss and I think it is highly important for either beginner or an experienced lawn enthusiast to know this information. And that is going to be CECs, and that is your cation exchange capacity. This is a topic that I really want to discuss. I have a special treat for you on that one. Um, I am teaming up with a highly respected person uh, when it comes to the soil and just make sure you stick around and you tune in for that one because yeah we're going to have a real discussion that a lot of us need to have that uh yeah you you want to stick around for that one okay soil ph what is it and why does it even matter soil ph is something that you definitely need to know about your soil to be able to get the results that you want in your lawn so soil ph is on a scale so you have your top end and your bottom your middle is neutral neutral is seven a ph of seven is neutral right in the middle anything below seven is an acidic soil anything above set seven is a basic or alkaline soil now that we've discussed soil ph scale and where things fall on that scale why does it even matter your soil pH is, is important because that now lets you know what your nutrient availability is in your soil. So for example, if you've got a high pH, you're definitely going to have some nutrients that are bound up in your soil that are not going to be available for the plant to uptake. For example, one of those being iron. We love that deep double dark green almost blue color in our lawn well one of the micronutrients that drives that deep green color is iron so having a high ph you have less of that iron that is actually available in the soil than if you have a lower ph or a ph that is more within reason of where turf grass likes to grow so turf grass definitely loves to be within that within that six to seven range in soil pH. Now that we know the importance of knowing what your soil pH is, I well, Cam, now I know that I have a high pH or I have a low pH. What am I supposed to do? So it can be adjusted. Uh, a pH is, is not, your soil pH is not something that cannot be changed and you're stuck with for the entirety of your lawn. So what you do need to do is you need to be patient. Changing soil pH is not something that happens overnight and it is not a easy thing to do. So my number one thing is be patient. So if you have a low pH, meaning your soil is acidic, 
the way to increase that pH is going to be to apply lime. Having a low pH and raising it is a little more difficult being that you would actually have to apply a second application being that of lime. So if you have a high pH, higher than seven, and you're looking to lower that pH, sulfur is going to be what you would want to add to your lawn to make sure that you're starting to lower that pH. The benefit here of having a high pH, well, I won't say a benefit, but the thing that is good about your pH being too high and not low is that you can actually find fertilizers that you're using throughout your yearly program that has sulfates in them, which are a part as a type of sulfur that will actually aid in lowering that pH without you having to do a separate or a independent application of only sulfur. So if you have major changes that you need to make, more than likely you're going to have to use a separate application of either sulfur or lime. But if you only need to make minor adjustments and you have a high pH, I would look into fertilizers that, have, that are based on or have sulfates in them. That way, as you're putting out your, your fertilizers during your yearly program, that'll help start to lower that pH. To recap this video, make sure that you are doing that soil test. Make sure you are understanding the information that is in it. And that being your soil pH, which we talked about in this video. And also uh, make sure that your soil test includes uh, the CEC value. Not all soil tests include that, but that is one thing that I am preaching on and we are definitely going to have a great discussion about in a later video in this series. So be sure that you are uh, getting those soil tests before you start any program. And if you do like the apparel here, um, now that I've gotten into the influencer and the YouTube industry, um, one of the pieces of information that I have received from a lot of YouTubers is, Cam, just be yourself, like be you. So this is not my brand, but I highly support it. It is from a colleague that I grew up with uh, from back home. Uh, check it out, Doer's Clothing, if you like it and you want to make a purchase, uh, be sure to go check the, them out. Small business out here doing amazing things. Be sure to support them. All right, good people. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell because I am posting consistently now and make sure that if you're striving to have that immaculate lawn, just know we work it.